and yet another vlog was started without me actually saying hello. Uh, I just wanted to do something a little bit different, do a little bit of a calm intro of just a calm Monday morning and take you along on a ride with me while I went to go get my Starbucks. I hope you enjoy the vibes and I swear it won't last too, too long. So stay tuned. I do end up talking, I swear. Sorry to cut in really quick, but I did just want to talk about the sponsor for today's video, which is Skillshare. I'm so excited to be working with Skillshare again. I used to work with them so much last year, and I just know what a great service they are. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators that has thousands of inspiring classes where you get to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. They have so many categories to choose from, but I normally gravitate towards their art and lifestyle classes. But I I also love learning more about graphic design and photography and film and the cool thing about it is that they have classes ranging from all sorts of levels so whether you're an expert in the field that you're looking into or you're just beginning there's going to be a class for you to learn more on it. I actually recently took email productivity work smarter with your inbox by Alexandra Samuel to help me get a handle on my inbox and it's been a total game changer. I am always overwhelmed by my YouTube email. There's just always so much in it and I'm always receiving so much and it's hard to keep track of everything and that's very important especially when it comes to work emails. So I was ready to learn quite literally anything but she actually describes and walks you through some very simple tools to organize your inbox and I've already applied these tools and let me tell you it literally is a game changer. It's just been so helpful. So if you're also someone that struggles with that, I highly recommend this class. And as a cherry on top, Skillshare is made specifically for learning. So there aren't any ads around to derail your focus and they're always launching new premium classes so there's always more to learn. Plus something I thought was really cool is that now their entire catalog has the option to have subtitles in English, Spanish, Dutch, and Portuguese. So there's an even larger amount of people that can actually benefit from their classes. So if you've been wanting to try out Skillshare for yourself or even want to look into the class that I already talked about, they have given me something to offer to you guys. So the first thousand of my subscribers to actually click the link in my description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can try it out for yourself and see if it helps you learn and grow in creative fields and every field really. So thank you so much to Skillshare for offering that and for sponsoring this video. Thank you to you guys because like I said, without you I would never get opportunities like this and you know I'm really grateful to you. Again check out that description box below if you want to be one of the first thousand to get a free trial and without further ado let's just jump back into my video. <laughs> Scone, 
this is like weirdly washed out to anyone else this is good today was meant to be a fairly chill day but it didn't really turn out that way i mean i started it just by like making myself some coffee and eating a scone and reading a little bit of crown of gilded bones and then it kind of got a little chaotic um nothing nothing really to worry about <laughs> really it's just like stuff adult stuff and adult stuff i think is the most stressful stuff and i was just like finally done with all that and i was gonna get to just like maybe editing some of the clips from this vlog and seeing if the video that i originally wanted to post today was like good to go because i also had to send that one in and i just felt like a little too wound up to do that right now and i figured everything's really messy like honestly it feels like everything's a mess around me you can't really tell in here but like even like the desk is just like cluttered and my room it's cluttered and there's like old coffee cups so i think that i just want to like maybe do a little bit of a cleaning time like cleaning let's let's just calm down kind of time yeah I think that I'm gonna set like a timer for 30 minutes, listen to some of Red because you know Taylor Swift's Red came out and I've been loving it. So I think I'm just gonna listen to some music and clean for 30 minutes and then I'll get back to like my normal stuff, you know? You just have to like listen to yourself. I might journal too. It depends. I'm feeling... I feel sp spinny. I don't know how else to describe it. I'm gonna set you down I guess like here. So you can kind of get a full picture of you. I do still have to clean my room too, but I'm almost tempted not to show you how messy it is. Yes. So, we'll see. Set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, counting down. Okay. Siri, play Red, Taylor's version on shuffle. Here's Red, Taylor's version plus a message from Taylor by Taylor Swift on shuffle. Remember how that lasted for a day? I say, I hate you, we break up, you call me, I love you. Um, indie record that's much cooler than mine. Better. This wasn't the worst of it though. My room is. Let's start with the obvious. Thought that was it, right? cleaner and I have two minutes to spare that wasn't bad sorry it was such a mess but that's life you know um <laughs> everything's always super messy for me on Wednesdays because I think that's like when I'm coming out of like my actual work week like from work work and I don't get anything done and I'm always like chaotic during that time so now things are a lot cleaner and I feel like I can properly sit down 
and get some more stuff done. I didn't read much of Crown of Gilded Bones and I've actually been reading some of your comments from my vlog. A lot of you are saying that Crown of Gilded Bones is actually one that you got really bored with halfway through as well and that it wasn't maybe written the same or that you finally noticed <laughs> that uh, the writing was different than the first two, things like that. I've, I've seen a lot of comments along those lines so it makes me feel a little bit better because I just feel like so stuck in this scene. Like the scene that I'm in is just so dull and I get it like it's really a moment of like Poppy and her love interest. <sighs> Kind of like loving each other but it's just kind of boring like make a decision i don't want to see every ounce of your decision just make it and then tell me what it was i'm not sure but yeah i'm going to edit i'm gonna leave for now because you had enough of me probably that was a lot of singing i hope i cut most of it out or all <laughs> this is <laughs> This is the vibe. I'm just finishing editing last week's vlog. So yeah, and I actually just had to film a clip for it because I realized I never ended it. And I don't know, am I giving anyone else streamer vibes? I'm giving myself streamer vibes. It's the headphones for sure. And it was the poor <laughs> camera quality of my desktop. Not that streamers have bad camera quality because they actually have really good camera quality and I really wish I could figure that out because filming with my computer sounds a lot easier. But I wanted to do a check-in. I didn't film really today, but I had a good reading day. I sat myself down with Crown of Gilded Bones and I was like, okay, listen, I couldn't really get into it yesterday. If I can't get into it within four pages today, I'm putting it down. I'm gonna start Empire of the Vampire because I've been kind of in the mood to read that. <laughs> and that's fine, that's okay. I started reading it it got good. It got good. I mean, I don't <laughs> I don't know if my like level of good has just kind of like decreased. I was expecting very little. I was ready to put it down, but I liked it. I uh I read up till like page 300, which is great. I haven't been read that much in like one sitting in a while. Chala and I sat on the couch. Luna joined us. It was a really good time, and I didn't really get any of like the stuff that I wanted to get done, which obviously I just did. So balance it's hard to achieve i i swear guys when i'm reading the most is also when i want to like be doing video stuff the least but it's also like what my content is about <laughs> anyways so yeah i'm glad that that happened today at least i'm actually just waiting for that to export because i just want to get it up today i was originally going to make this like a different video but i decided against it and now that is gonna go up today, even though it's 8 p.m. right now. Should I wait until... I don't know. It's weird, because I can hear my voice right now through my mic, which by the way, guys, I got working again. I think I've mentioned this already, but I'm still very impressed that she just came back to life. And I can hear myself through the mic right now, so I'm gonna... Oh, I think my streamer looked better. My streamer look looked better. I'm just gonna... Right? Like, is anyone else feeling that? Aw, oh, dang. I can't get the effortless vibe that I had when I was being effortless. <laughs> Tell me the truth. Should I be a streamer just for the vibes? <laughs> I actually, my boyfriend, why did I refer to him like that? Adam tells me all the time that I should start a Twitch because he thinks it would be really funny. I don't think it would be that funny because I, like, really only play story games. So, like, The Witcher, Assassin's Creed. Those are the games that I like to play. And it takes me a while, I feel like, to get done because I'm a side quest kind of gal. I'm a completionist kind of gal, which is ironic because in any other area of my life, not really, but I just don't think I have that good of commentary to go along with a, a relatively long form video game like that, you know? Also, I don't know how to work it. Like, I don't know how to work streaming. Like, that's a whole area of my life that I would have to figure out. I would have to figure out, like, camera, lighting imagery like right because like there's different like people get and i know i can ask i know i can or like research i'm just not ready for yet i don't think but let me know what you would think i'm gonna end this right now i, I also started another book can't believe i almost forgot i started an audiobook which if you watch 
last week's vlog, which is about to upload. I mentioned that I've been kind of trying to get away from audiobooks mostly because when I'm listening to them for too long, I just kind of feel weird when I stop the audiobook. It's like my brain has to like catch up to normal life. So I've been kind of getting away from audiobooks because I don't like that feeling, but I decided to try to listen to a self-help audiobook, kind of, and it's the You Are a Badass one. This one has been in my library account for a minute, so I wanted to just give it a shot before I said no to audiobooks altogether, and I'm really liking it so far. It's actually narrated by the author. It's cool because it's saying a lot of things that I've just been kind of, in general, coming to realize, and it's being said a lot more eloquently than I say it to myself. So it's it's good so far. I'm only on chapter 7, so I'm like 22% of the way through, but I'm enjoying it. So that's my reading update. That was actually a good reading update. Okay, I'm gonna go see what Adam wanted because he was getting my attention. Okay, bye. Okay. <laughs> is it like having a really hard time focusing on my face or is it just me? Okay, uh, so I don't know what was up with the lighting in the last clip, so I fixed it, I think, but it is Friday, and... <laughs> Wait, I had thoughts, I swear. Um, I read. Yeah, I know. I feel, like, almost too blue now. What's happening? Uh... You know what? That's fine. This is a vlog. The lighting does not, nor should it be, perfect. Yeah, at least for mine. <laughs> so I did read today some more of Crown of Gilded Bones. I am getting back into it, but then like the part that I left it off on yesterday, it was entering into like a slow-ish part. Then it got exciting. Um, I'm on page 328, like this much left, which is all very, very exciting. I'm excited. We're all excited. Uh, I haven't listened to any more of the audiobook that I picked up yesterday, so... I don't know. I know that Adam's coming over right now, and tomorrow and Sunday I do work, so I'm not sure how much more reading I'm gonna get done this week. I kind of want to, like, have a moment now before Adam's coming over to just, like, read something. I'm not sure if I want to read this or if I want to read, like, something quick. I know that tonight, too, I was originally going to film, and... I'm still debating on it. I really want to do an updated version, not an updated version, but another like books I would buy if I could right now video. I really like doing those and you guys have fun with me doing them, which is great because, you know, I, I can't buy books. So it's not like I can do hauls right now anyways. And this is actually just what I do. And in the past few days, actually, I've been just seeing books that I'm intrigued by. Not that I've heard anyone talk about. I just went on to like Amazon and Barnes and Noble and then like the recommended areas I was like oh what's that and then I kept like kind of following the thread through for like any book that I saw that intrigued me and so therefore I think it would be a good time to make an updated like books I feel like I would want to buy right now and I think I've decided actually the way that I want to do my poetry video Ooh, which one am I gonna end up doing first? I'm not sure uh but the way that I wanted to do the poetry video is actually by making it kind of like one of those like which online poetry book shopping online book shopping poetry edition something like that i'm gonna ask you guys to help me in which books i should pick out i think that would be fun we're getting really close um to the end of the year and the end of like hopefully my book buying ban i am really excited because officially like adam and i have like a set date of when we're going to be moving into our new place and uh, this has been a very exciting experience i've been very quiet about it um i feel like i just didn't want to like jinx anything and i was just like i don't, I don't know i don't know why i was quiet about it can't tell you but i can tell you that we should be moving in like end of next month like right before christmas <laughs> fingers crossed, like that nothing gets in the way. And so once we have the place, I can kind of stop not allowing myself to buy anything, but I'm still buying things. I mean, just today I bought the Target exclusive edition of like Red, the re-released version, and I bought my cat's food. Their food's expensive. Once we move to, I'll feel comfortable actually adding to my book collection because one of the things that stresses me out the most is moving my books. They're 
are so many of them and it's such an annoying process and it's never going to be fun. And I say all this now that I'm thinking about it without having thought that I've been increasing my book collection this entire time because obviously I work with Book of the Month a lot and I get all of their books every single month and then I also get Fairy Loot and Alcrate books. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be documenting the process of us like moving or moving in or anything like that. I just don't know. If I feel like it in the moment then I will obviously. I feel like once we're moved in there's gonna be so many videos that I want to do just surrounding like upgrading things or updating things. I really love DIYing. When I say DIY I think of like crafty moms that do like really cool crafty things and that's not what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of like furniture DIYing, like creating things or like upgrading things. I'm not sure. I guess they're all DIY. But yeah, I don't know though where I'm gonna film them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna revive my second channel to do those kinds of things, if I'm gonna just combine it into this one. I'm not sure if I'm even going to log it. Like I said, I, it's just one of those weird situations where I can't tell yet how much I want to force myself to put on to the internet. Not because I care. I'm not necessarily a private person. So it's not because of that. It's mostly also just like work standpoint. Like I'm trying to make some things just for fun. I don't want to like always be logging everything on video because it takes some of the fun away. Not that this isn't like completely fun, but what I am saying is sometimes when I'm reading, I don't want to like talk about it. I don't want to like have to explain myself. I just want to read it. And so I might not always bring a book that I'm reading. I don't know. That's like a newer thing for me, but it's also just the idea that like I should be able to have, or I should have hobbies that I don't associate with like work because this is work at the end of the day. I mean, I feel like it's such a strange concept because I know it makes so many people weirdly uncomfortable to think of this as work. And that's fine. Like I'm not saying this is the hardest job in the world, but I am saying that this is a job in my mind. And sometimes it gets kind of hard and sometimes you want to just have things for yourself, like my poetry. <laughs> yeah, so all that to say, I'm not sure how much is going to be logged. Obviously, you can leave me opinions down below on, like, what you would think about any of that. I don't know how much I'll take your opinions into account in that. Like I said, it's just gonna be kind of like an in-the-moment thing, like, whether I feel like doing it or not. If I feel like it, yeah, I'm gonna tell you everything. If I don't feel like it, I guess not. I don't remember how we started on this topic, but I do remember- oh, yeah, my online book shopping video. Because once we have the house, I'll feel like I can actually kind of, you know, breathe and spend money on fun things again. Because now whenever I do it, I just sit there and feel guilty. I'm going to read a little bit more. I'll try to update you during the weekend. That tends to be the harder time for me to update, so who knows how much I'll get in. That's kind of it for now. I feel like there really was something that I wanted to tell you and now I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe when I move in, I'll do like a life updates, like Q&A kind of thing, where you guys can do some questions and I will answer. Q&A. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I kind of want to write a little bit too. Maybe I'll write for a little and then I'll read. We'll see. Luna, how do you feel about writing for a little? She's standing like right next to the camera. It's actually kind of hilarious. gonna be just the clip to close out the vlog um I didn't talk to you guys yesterday I didn't actually end up going to work yesterday I got food poisoning I mean 
I think I've had food poisoning for like the past three days and then I just kept eating the mashed potatoes that I didn't know were giving it to me. So yeah, I ended up not going to work and I just like slept all day. Didn't do any reading, didn't do much of anything, but it's probably for the best. And today I'm on my break right now. I just had a little bit of time, came back home because I forgot my lunch and I ate and I'm gonna be going back to work. And I don't get off until later tonight and I just don't feel like there's gonna be much to update you on. I read, you know, Crown of Gilded Bones this week, got to page 329 and I didn't make any more progress in my audiobook. So that's that. This week was a bit of a flop, but not a bad flop, just kind of a flop, you know? So I will see you guys in next week's vlog where, <laughs> Oh my gosh, Thanksgiving's next week. Oh my gosh, Thanksgiving's next week. And hopefully I'm getting up my video that I wanted to get up this week. My camera, my camera battery died. Of course it did, right? But as I was saying, I'll hopefully get up the video next week that I originally wanted to get up this week but didn't get to do because I was feeling really sick. So look forward to that. It's actually gonna be a kind of like online book shopping. I'm not sure if it's gonna be the poetry one yet or just regular, so yeah. That'll be that. I'm gonna actually take this work. Maybe I'll read on my next 15. I don't know. I don't know, you know? Uh, okay, bye guys. Do you like my fit? This isn't what I actually wear to work. I wear a different shirt, but um, let's pretend that I always look this cute. That was my alarm. <laughs> this update's a mess and I'm so sorry about that. I'm really liking these cut-ins from editing slash streamer looking Britney, so I'm doing it again for this week's because even though I ended it, I feel like that end was weird. So thank you for watching the vlog. Sorry I didn't finish any books, but I can already tell you that this upcoming week I have finished some books, so that's exciting for me, maybe for you. This vlog was still fun, in my opinion. It was very much like hang out with me, let's chill, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring the video. So check them out if you would like to. All the information's in my description below and I'll see you in next week's vlog. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, bye, bye.